Lesson 2.7, either or probabilities. Our objective for this lesson is to be able to find the either or probability for overlapping and non-overlapping events. And we're gonna start by defining either or probability, non-overlapping events, and overlapping events. All right, first, either or probability. Either or probability is the likelihood that either of two events occurs. So in the last lesson, we were talking about and probability, where we were trying to find the probability of event A and event B both occurring. Here, we're talking about the probability that either event A occurs or event B occurs. With and probability, we talked about independent events versus dependent events. For either or probability, we're concerned with non-overlapping events or overlapping events. So two events are non-overlapping if they cannot occur together. So for example, uh, if I flip a coin, I'm either going to get a heads or a tails. I, those two events can't happen at the same time. Uh, or if I roll a die, um, I'm either gonna get a one or a two or a three or a four or a five or a six. I, I can't get both at the same time if I'm just rolling one die. Uh, so those are non-overlapping events. And you can think about uh, the Venn diagrams that we did earlier. Uh, these would be our disjoint sets. There, there's no overlap between those two. All right, and then overlapping events. Two events are overlapping if they can occur together. So for example, if, I'm, uh, if I've got a bag of different colored and different shaped and, or different sizes of marbles, and I wanna know the probability of getting a green marble or a big marble, um, the, those events are overlapping because it's possible for me to get a big green marble. And so um, our probability uh, formulas are gonna be just a little bit different for overlapping events versus non-overlapping events. So the formula first for non-overlapping events for either or probability. If A and B are non-overlapping events, the probability that either A or B occurs is this formula. The probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. So with, with and probability, we were multiplying the two probabilities together. Uh, with either or probability, we're adding the two probabilities together. Now with overlapping events, it's mostly the same, except we have to subtract out the probability that both occurred together. So if we're looking at the, um, the probability of uh, getting a, a green marble or a big marble, we're gonna uh, take the probability of getting a green marble plus the probability of getting a big marble, but then we have to subtract out the probability of getting a big green marble. So if A and B are overlapping events, the probability that either A or B occurs is given by this formula here. The probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. For both of our examples, we're asked to determine whether the events described are overlapping or non-overlapping, and then find the either or probability. So for the, our first example, we're asked to find the probability of rolling a fair die and getting either a one or a six. So first we need to determine whether these events are overlapping or non-overlapping. So they're gonna be overlapping if it's possible for the two events to happen together. And so we have to ask ourselves, is it possible to get both a one and a six? And no, it's not. When we roll uh, dice, we're either the only one face is going to be facing up at a time. And so uh, these are non-overlapping events. Um, and to find the probability, the probability of getting a one or a six is gonna be equal to the probability of getting a one plus the probability of getting a six. And the probability of getting a one is gonna be one out of six. There's 
there's one way out of, out of six different faces that could be facing up. The one is one of them. And the probability of getting a six is also going to be one out of six. So when we add those together, the, the combined probability, the either or probability, is going to be two out of six. And we can reduce that fraction to one third. So that's going to be our probability of rolling a one or a six, one third. For our second example, we're asked to find the probability of drawing a card from a standard deck and getting either a queen or a heart. So first we need to decide whether these are overlapping or non-overlapping events. And the question we need to ask is, is it possible to get both a queen and a heart at the same time? And yes, it is. There's the queen of hearts, uh, which is both a queen and a heart. So these are overlapping events. Um, and the formula for uh, the either or probability for overlapping events is the probability of getting either a queen or a heart is going to be equal to the probability of getting a queen plus the probability of getting a heart minus the probability of getting a queen and a heart. All right, so the probability of getting a queen uh, well, there's 52 cards in a standard deck, and there are four queens in there. So that's going to be four out of 52 is going to be the probability of drawing a queen. The, there are 13 hearts in a deck of cards, so the probability is going to be 13 out of 52 is the probability of drawing a heart. Now, notice that we want the probability of getting either a queen or a heart and notice here that we've, um, we've double counted the queen of hearts because the queen of heart is, hearts is one of these four queens and it's also one of these 13 hearts. So to take, to take care of that, we have to subtract out the probability of getting the queen of hearts. So that's one, there's one queen of hearts in a deck out of 52. And so our probability is going to be 4 50 seconds plus 13 50 seconds, which is 17 50 seconds, minus 1 50 seconds. So that's 16 50 seconds. And uh, we can reduce that fraction to 4 over 13. And that's going to be our probability of drawing either a queen or a heart from a standard deck.